You, the Urban Sports Scene, Ray and Wole, also part of Black Sports Insiders. And it's always exciting, fam, when you and me is involved. And our special guest today is none other than Cleo Hill Jr., new men's head basketball coach at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, where Wole and I, of course, graduated from. Wole a little bit later than me, but we ain't going to jump on that, that today. Uh, <laughs> coach, welcome to the show. Welcome to the urban sports scene. It's great to meet you and Hawk Pride. Where are we going with that? We just talked about that before we started recording. <laughs> no, thanks a lot, man. Happy to be here, man. Happy Absolutely. to be a part of the Hawk Pride. Well, Coach, before we get into the serious talk about basketball, about where you're going to take this Hawk program, we want to start off with a little bit of an icebreaker. Uh, we saw in your mm -hmm. bio that you got the chance to help Coach Tracy McGrady back in the day. And what we want to know is, is that the best high school basketball player you've ever seen in all your years uh, being around the game? Uh, well, you said that I've seen. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't I didn't see LeBron really. You, you're speaking in person. I guess what you've been around, what, what yeah. you had the, the opportunity yeah. to, to yeah, be hands-on with. I would say Mac was the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I would say he's the best. I saw a little bit of Kobe. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a little bit of Garnett. Um, and way, way back in the day, Daryl Dawkins, that was that was back in the stone, <laughs> back in the stone age. But yeah, yeah, Mac is probably the best that I've seen. Okay, I was telling Wole AI Iverson, that's that's the best high school player I think I've ever seen. But you know, okay. going back to my my younger days, we was in high school around the same time. So okay, cool. you and I, yeah, we were. We were at the same exact time, trying yeah. to make me sound. I see what you did there earlier. No, no, okay, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but Bubba Chuck was tough though. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. well, I was tough too now. Mm -hmm. Uh and 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 John Wall. I, th I thought John Wall was tough. Tariq Evans, mm -hmm. they were all tough. Yeah. But I, I think for me, McGrady was 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 the best that I've seen. That's that's crazy because I heard John Wall was insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know he was. Mm -hmm. He was. Uh, re really, really fast. He was right there in Raleigh when I was at Shaw. Mm -hmm. Um but Mac was Mac was just so athletic, man. He was so athletic, and, and he played both ends, always got a lot of block shots, underrated passer, underrated ball handler. Uh, didn't shoot it that well in high school. Did, did, didn't shoot it that well. But everything else, I thought I thought he was phenomenal. Awesome, awesome. Coach, I have a quick question. You know, Ray and I, when we went to Eastern Shore, like we were into the, we were into wing dings. Have you like the chicken wings, little chicken wings? Have you been in, have you been indoctrinated, indoctrinated into eating wing dings yet? I, I have I have not, but uh, I will be going to Brew River pretty soon. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, Prob probably, probably, probably uh, today, today or tomorrow. Okay, okay. Um, see. But no, I haven't been. Uh, I haven't. I've heard about them, but I, I haven't had any yet. Oh, they're awesome. I used to mix okay. them with the ranch and the ranch and hot sauce. I'm sorry, okay. I'm, going, I'm going back to my memories. Okay. All right, so, <laughs> hey, coach. I mean, obviously, we love Eastern. We love Eastern Shore. Uh, again, mm -hmm. we're alumni. Um, but what enticed you to say, "Yeah, I want, I want to be the men's basketball coach at UMES"? Well, like I said in my interview, I I actually had my eye on on Maryland Eastern Shore back in 2005 when I was at Cheney. Uh, my wife now, then my girlfriend. I remember driving from from uh, North Carolina to Pennsylvania and stopping through. And I just I love the look of the campus. Um, I love the look of the campus. And then again, we drove through uh, in 2013. Um, and I just thought it was really interesting, a real interesting dynamic that they did not have football. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I thought that was great. And, and at that time, I even I loved the facility. Um, and then when when uh, A.D. Owens got the job, it became even more enticing because I've known her for a long time and just speaking with her about the leadership of Dr. Anderson, it was like, wow, that's a great situation. Um, and then, you know, fortunately for me, it, it uh, came to fruition. Well, we're glad to have you. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a bonus, to be honest with you. <laughs> but also, you. in terms of like, obviously, you have a great coaching record. Um, but for here in this at UMBS, what would you say you want to be your team's identity? <sighs> wow, uh, definitely on the defensive side of the basketball. But uh, we want to have fun playing, man. We want to go up and down. Uh, we want to play in transition. Want to shoot a lot of threes. Want to get a lot of dunks, uh, and uh, just get the atmosphere to where where it should be. Um, you know, we'll probably switch defenses a lot. If if I had to pick one thing, um, it would be on the defensive side. Uh, we just kind of want to be 
unpredictable mm. on the defensive side of the ball. But we want to play an exciting brand of basketball, too. Yeah, Coach, you said when you started, you like to build. And, you know, this is going to be something that you definitely have to build up. You're used to doing that based on your resume. Um, yeah. But in comparison to your past stops, how big of a challenge is, uh, will it be to build a UMS program that has not been to an NCAA tournament before? Well, you know, that's that's the, the beauty of it. Uh, trying to do something that hasn't hasn't been done Um you know, every place I've been, there's been some history marks that I've wanted to conquer. Um, and this will probably be one of my biggest challenges. Um, mm. and, I, and I would have to check again. But I, from what I understand, four winning seasons in, in 50 years is, is some numbers that I, I've heard. I haven't mm -hmm. fact checked that. Um, I'll have to talk to Nick about that. But uh, for myself and my staff, the challenge of of, of not only having a winning season, but building a program um, and getting to that NCAA tournament, which would be winning the MEAC. That's, you know, that's the goal. Uh, mm -hmm. We won't, myself, my staff, my players, we won't sugarcoat it at all or run from it. That That is the goal. Yeah, that, that's going to be definitely a, a tall task. But again, you have the resume and this is what you relish in, in doing. So yeah. excited to see the journey. Uh, I know it's not always going to be easy, but again, I know you're ready for that. When it comes to recruiting, though, I want to ask a lot of our past coaches, I get to say we and our in, the, in this interview. So yeah. mm -hmm. uh, awesome. <laughs> excited about that part. But a lot of our past coaches, they usually recruit in the areas where they're from, you know, mm -hmm. such as like New York, Chicago. But UMS is located in a, in a spot where you're kind of in close proximity to Philly, the DMV, like areas with a lot of, of talent. I would say basketball hotbeds. So what's going to be your strategy to recruiting? Well, coming in, you know, we wanted to get, you know, get 13 players right off, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But I think, like you said, the DMV area is going to be crucial. Uh, that uh, Virginia, Delaware, D.C., Maryland, you know, Philly, like you said, um, I think those are going to be key spots for us. And then some of my coaches are, are from those areas. Uh, Coach Jindra is from Philadelphia. Um, well, Coach Beckwith is from North Carolina. I've been an East Coast guy. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'll use my contacts along the East Coast. But the DMV is, is going to be crucial. So any of the coaches out there, look, think Hawk Pride. Think, think <laughs> Hawk Pride. That is awesome. So, Coach, how about that? The even, even to even even narrow it down, how about that area within UMES, like Salisbury and Del, the the, the Del Mar Marva area? How is recruiting in that in that area for you? But well, we we haven't been out yet. But these mm -hmm. are places that we we want to go. Uh, we want to definitely do a team camp uh, to get to know the coaches right here in this area. Um, and from what I understand, there there have been some good players uh, in in Salisbury and the mm -hmm. surrounding areas. Uh, we want to try to snatch those and not not to let them leave home. Of course, of course. And also, um, coach, in terms of like for our viewers and uh, for our viewers, who would you say are some of the guys on your team that you know folks need to know about? Wow, really, all thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think right offhand, I think the the grad transfers of Evan Johnson, uh, who attended uh, Georgia State University and Uni University of Asheville. Um, and went to Oak Hill, actually Oak Hill High School, uh, prep school. Um, and then there's probably Jalen Ware, who's always also a grad transfer, went to Austin P. Um, and, and for the, the viewers that do know me, I brought Keytron Shaw from Winston-Salem State um, with me. I had, I had to snatch him out of there. But then there's some local guys like Hassan Perkins from Delaware, um, Ralph Martino, who's actually from Maryland play with the OTE group. Mm. Um, so those are some names that are, you know, pretty, pretty hot right now or during the recruiting period of the summer. Um, definitely a few guys to watch, uh, those five. All right, cool. Yeah, you so put this roster together so fast. I know, right? It's amazing. <laughs> we were watching like, wow, like, how is he doing this? And this I know. It, I, I mean, look, I've been checking out the Eastern Shore, uh, you know, social handles, and I'm like, wow, the team is pretty much almost, it's already set. Um, so, in terms of just you mentioned your goals, your long term goals. What are some of your short term short short term goals for this season? Really, I think when you're talking about short term and then even long term, we want to get better every day. Okay. Every every practice, uh, every weightlifting session, every film session, every game, 
Uh, we just want to continue to improve um, and gel with 13 new guys. Chemistry is going to be, you know, almost as important as, as everything else. Um, so that's that's part of what we want to do. Just just constantly get better during the course of the year. Coach Umias is growing as a brand, and that's something that we haven't always had. You know, when you think certain HBCUs like Howard and others, sorry, Willie, but <laughs> you, you think of brand names, and you and me as from an academic standpoint, the campus is beautiful. It's growing. We got to get it to where athletics is right there with that, and I hope that basketball can be part of that, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your vision being laid out. I just want to say that before we let you go. Okay. No, I'm used to it, man. I'm used to it. I think me and my staff are coming in at the right time. Um, like you said, academics has always been soaring. Enrollment is going up. Um, we have a bunch of new coaches within athletics. Everybody's passionate about being here and winning. So it should be good. You know, that the athletic brand should definitely grow this year. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Coach. This is this is one of many. We'll, we'll be seeing you. Okay. Looking yeah. forward to the journey. And yeah. we'll, and we'll right be there, there too. We'll be right there along the ride. <laughs> and we'll be there. Okay. On, we'll be there on campus too. Absolutely. Oh, so you coming to Heights? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, it's, it's happening. Coming to homecoming? Yeah, you'll see. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> right. Look, also on the social media front, I'm I'm trying to find those groups on on Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. um, and Facebook. Tell them to find me. Okay. Tell them to find me. I, I know I'd a like Facebook to have group. a lot of following. I got yeah. a Facebook. We have a Facebook group. So uh, there's a Facebook okay. group. So I'll e email I'll, it to me. I will. I will. Yep. I definitely. Will. Mm -hmm. All right. Coach. Okay. Appreciate, Appreciate it, guys. You. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hawk Pride. Hawk Pride. Catch, Catch it. it. Catch <laughs> it. <laughs>